Now on Cover Point, it's a privilege to bring you exclusive pictures of the greatest feat of run getting in the history of the game. Brian Lara's 501 at Edgbaston for Warwickshire. Seen through the eyes of those who probably had the best seat in the house, the opposition, Durham. But first, the no nonsense appreciation of the man from one of his mentors and a West Indian colleague, Desmond Haynes. Sometimes when you look at it, I personally sometimes tell myself, oh, this is a selfish little bugger here, but I believe that, you know, as a cricketer and you really want to do well, you must have a few selfish streaks in you. And he said to me some, uh, one day that he loved pressure. I love to go and bat when it's two for two or when it's five for two. I couldn't understand that because I figure if you're batting, you would prefer to know that there's some runs on the board and then you can play a lot freer. And he said, look, I'm used to it. I've been playing for Trinidad and every five minutes the two openers go early or whatever, so I'm under pressure all the time. And I get to like it, you know, he said, I, I love it. Obviously, when he got 501, there was a lot of talk about, you know, because we hadn't made a game of it and um, were we just sort of bowling, you know, just to go through the motions. Well, we were still trying to get bonus points. We were up in the table, you know, re re relatively high. And we thought our best option on the day was to get, you know, four bowling points. So we plugged away all, all the way through up until 120 overs. And, you know, the guys bowled pretty well. No matter where you put the fielder, he, he hits it in a different place. He, he has this uncanny knack of hitting the gaps all the time. He's very unassuming. He doesn't sort of look at you or stare at you or, you know, have this air of, you know, you shouldn't be bowling that rubbish at me type of attitude which some players sometimes have, which can get a little bit upsetting and that's when the old toys come out of the pram. I've filled in the gully for all my career and, and it, from a technical point of view you, you basically watch the bat as opposed to anything else. I find it very difficult to watch his bat because it was up and down to such a ratio. Um, you know, it was a bit of a blur really, but uh, yeah, he, but he plays the ball very late. It was all played at the same tempo, really. Uh, well, he started off obviously being not out of 100, but then if you consider that he got 390 on his own during the day, there's an enormous amount of runs. And For instance, he put over 300 on with Trevor Penny, and Trevor Penny only got 40. Bowling my first bowling, first-class cricket, I was really pleased, you know. I was, wasn't, wasn't was hyped up or anything like that. I just got on with my job and just done it. Didn't didn't really think about these previous performances. I just wanted to get on with my job and see that I proved that I could bowl at him. And I was proved wrong. <laughs> All our boys were completely shattered. They'd had a long day and, and Bain threw me the ball and said, come on, have a bowl. I said to, to the umpire, Trevor Jesty, actually, just as I came up to bowl, I said, this one could go down in history. So I ran in and, and bowled the first couple of balls and I thought, now, can I have to have a bouncer, I'm afraid. So I did and it was right inside the ear hole. <laughs> Keith Piper, who was batting with him at the time, walk down the wicket uh, and explain to him, look, this is the last over, we walk off at the end of this. I'm sure he was convinced there was another 10 overs because there was nothing left in the game, so it was always going to be a draw, um, and we would have just walked off. He was all right, and then the next ball, he just stepped away and slammed it for four for the record. Well, this is a case when the statistics are capable of doing justice. This is the astonishing roll of honour. He's got a, an array of shots that are you know, fantastic to watch. And you can look at him and his intention is to hit every ball and then if he can't hit it, you block it. He's certainly the best player I've ever bowled against and, and seen play. To have witnessed and been on the same field as that innings, it was, you know, probably one of the highlights of my career, really. <laughs> <laughs>